Hi, this is V-Force John. I'm going to do a little explaining on how the DinoJet Dino works with the CVT. What I'm going to do is compare some runs here. This is my Prairie 700. I'm going to be doing the closed airbox setup. This was the setup that I just ran this weekend at Nimedia. This was this dyno was done on 622. And we're going to compare the different clutch setup which I had ran about three weeks ago in the media. We're going to explain how these work. The red line is the old setup, the way I had it set up before. You can see the dyno starts at about I don't know, start sampling and pumping to say about 14 miles an hour. You make the same horsepower. Out of the hole, the old clutch setup was better. This was stage 3 clutch, 254s, 256s. Came out of the hole harder, held the power just about the same as the mid range. During the end, the old clutch had a much better top end here. This was from 60 to 70 miles an hour, which is basically a rudder run in the eighth mile. I ended up at about 62 miles an hour. This past weekend, I tried a new clutch setup. This clutch setup was uh, four 360 gram weights. This gave me less horsepower, but more RPM. I can select the left value as engine speed RPM, which is already there. And let's go about and see how I shift it out. Both of these runs here, I started the shift out at 7200, peak RPM, we were hitting peak power, 68, 6900 RPM. The red line is the more powerful run, but you'll notice the red line RPMs are about the same. As we started the shift out at about 30 miles an hour, the 360 gram weights were revving 6700 the 54-56 combo was 64-70. 40 miles an hour, 360 weights are revving 69-30, while the other weights are 65-80. 50 mile per hour, 7,900 RPM versus 666. The blue line right now, which is making less power, also showed me slower speeds at the drag strip this weekend by two mile per hour. I am revving 7,510 RPM. The old clutch setup was holding the RPM at 6,840. If we set these values on the bottom and from speed, we're going to change them to engine speed and we're going to get a, change that to none. Basically what we get is a chart that is 100% unreadable. It shows the RPM values basically at which I shifted out at. The red clutch here was the uh, faster setup. It did not ever reach a speed over 7,700 RPM. I know this is a bit confusing. While the EP or the uh, 360 weighted clutch would run the RPMs all the way up to uh, 8,500. Thank you. Fucking air compressor came on.